I want to explain why we're installing this into the supply side duct. Now a filter is installed in the return side of the duct. And the job of the filter is to stop any particulates from traveling into the gas furnace heat exchanger and to the bottom of the evaporator quill where it can just get clogged up. But the whole point of why we're installing this is the UV light right here is going to kill any type of biological issues that may be growing on the quill, such as mold and bacteria. The other thing is it treats the air that's traveling through here, so it's going to kill anything basically traveling through that area. And then the whole thing right here, this assembly, is going to take care of any type of odor and VOCs. And so that's, that's what we're doing. And then we're going to be installing this right up here so the UV light can shine down this whole pathway and on top of the coil. So I want to go over some mounting positions of where we would install this on different systems. Because we have an A coil right here, we can install this right in the center of the supply duct, right above it. But in the case of an N coil, you want to think that you're going to have to have that slightly off center because you want that UV light to shine on all three slabs. This slab, this slab, and this slab, as well as to be able to treat all the air. The other thing is you could mount it in this orientation as well. And in the case of an air handler, you're going to want to have a dual version. So this part is going to be able to treat the air up top, and then you're going to have a secondary UV light, and that's going to be mounted in between the EVAP coil and the blower motor. And you don't want to install this below it, because what's going to happen is if it's installed below the EVAP coil, you can be shining this on a filter or other non-UV resistant material. It's going to break it down. So that's not good, so make sure you have it installed above the EVAP coil. And this is also going to be helpful in the case of any type of sludge that's going to occur in the EVAP coil pan. And so it's going to reduce the amount of sludge that you can get in your trap, and your trap is required for an air handler. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to mark our hole, we're going to cut our hole with 10 snips, and then we can screw this in with uh, four self-tapping screws. The bulb is not installed until after this is in place. And if you were going to be installing this in duckboard instead of sheet metal, this particular unit, it comes with a mounting plate for duckboard, and I'll show you how to use that after I get done mounting this into the sheet metal. So I've cut myself out a little template for the whole size I need, and I'm just going to mark it out. Now I want to show you how to use the templates that were supplied in here to do an installation in duckboard. Then you just mount your UV bulb in and you also could use tape over top of the metal before you put this down in just to help seal this up back here. Now we're going to move on to the installation that we were working on on the sheet metal duct. In reference to the power supply, there's two different models to choose from, so you want to order the right one ahead of time. And so this one comes with a pre-molded 120 volt plug, and so this one will accept anywhere from 110 to 277 volts. And you can plug this right into a separate electrical circuit near the furnace or the same circuit as the furnace, but you just want to make sure you have your power wire going into the receptacle and then from the power from the receptacle to the switch. And you just want to remember that this is going to be on all the time. So you're not going to have it turn on and off with the airflow. So it's just going to be plugged in all the time and your switch for your gas furnace is just going to turn off power to the furnace itself. But you're just going to need to look at the local electrical codes in reference to that and refer to your electrician. But in reference to this right here, we have our 24 volt wire and we're going to take our power from the lower portion of our gas furnace. Now we're in the lower gas furnace electrical compartment and we have our two wires. We want to attach that to R and C in order to get our 24 volt power. But there's something that you really want to take into consideration and you want to look at your existing transformer and if it's a 25 VA or a 30 VA, if it's a 40 VA, uh, that's going to be able to uh, handle more current. And the other thing is we have a three amp fuse. So basically you just don't want to overload the transformer. In the case where you have multiple accessories or two UV lamps, then you're going to want to install an additional transformer in order to get your 24 volts to supply it. 
The other thing is you can ignore all these extra wires right here. They are just condensate safety switches breaking the Y wire to the outdoor unit. What we need to do is attach one wire to this R terminal and then one to the C terminal right here. Now we're going to place this sticker on the duct and we're going to drill a little peephole into the duct to see the blue light. Now we're going to turn the power on to this unit in order to take a look at the blue light. We left this cover plate off so that you could see inside for when we turn the power on to the furnace. And so remember this UV light will be lit anytime that we have power onto the furnace. So it's not just when the blower motor is running. So, so now we're good. You see the UV light shining on the coil. Now I'm going to put this cover plate back on. I hope this video helped you understand how to install an air treatment system such as the APCO X with the UV lights. And if you're looking for more information on these, I have links down in the description section below.